Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Don and you're watching Don's DIYs where it's always better when you do it yourself. Today we are going to be putting on stickers onto my wife's Jeep uh, on the hood. Uh, my last video I actually showed you how to pull them off. Today we're going to show you how I put on stickers back on the hood. Uh, I had pulled the one off my Jeep, off my Jeep, and now we're going to be putting one on hers. Uh, Calypso's her name, and uh, so we're going to be putting that sticker on it. So let's get started. Okay, as you see, this is where it's gonna go. Here is our sticker. And it's gonna go right here. So, what we gotta do is try to get this centered up between the seam and the edge of the, the uh, hood there. So, what I do is I just take a piece of tape, cut me, get me a couple little pieces of tape here just put it to put it to hold it in place while I pull some measurements and with this you can pull it off and put it back on okay it's 11 and that is 20 so we need to move it way this way towards the front Okay, so sixteen and a half centimeters. So it only needs to go a couple of centimeters towards the or a centimeter towards the front this tape will, this tape will uh, come in handy in a minute and I'll show you why sixteen centimeters. moved it too much. You know what, I'm gonna use my tape measure. I can hook it on the front here a little easier. Six and a half inches to the edge. Six and a half inches to the edge. Okay. Not going by the sticker, but I'm going by the lettering. So we're right where we need to be. So. So I'm back, I got a pencil. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a reference line mark on here so we know where we need to be, okay? Because now we're gonna tear this up. And we have two reference lines to line it up till we know where, we're, where we pretty much need to be. Okay, the way that I put them on is with water. You got to be very patient with the water because it takes a long time for it to dry, but it does allow you to position the sticker a lot better. I do use a heat gun at, at some points to 
just try to heat it up and dry up the water a little bit after I pull it. All right, I'm gonna need your help over here for a second, baby. So put your hand down on the bottom. Okay, so as you're peeling it, you're just gonna give it a little spray here and there. That's just to keep the sticker from sticking. Go ahead. So if it flies back on itself, because it's pretty windy right now, it won't, uh... thank you. It won't stick. Okay, so. I'm gonna spray the surface here. Get this wet. Okay, so now I'll line back up my reference lines. Right about there. So I got my reference lines lined up. I got the uh, lettering about the same off the bottom off the bottom of the edge of the hood. So that's where that goes. All right, I gotta get my squeegee, so hang on. Thank you, baby. Okay, so I have my squeegee now. So what you're going to do is you want to you're going to want to very lightly pull the water out, and I use a paper towel to get it up because if not, it goes right back up underneath the sticker, and that's the last thing you want is more water. Now at this point, Uh, the soap solution that I use is uh, just Dawn dishwashing liquid and water. It's, uh, I clean it with it and then I clean it with alcohol. <clears throat> then, uh, then I can put the sticker on, make sure there's nothing there. You're going to get you're going to get stuff every now and then underneath it. Just understand it's not perfect. And at this point is the only time you want to use a scraper. Once you peel the sticker, do not touch the sticker with a scraper. It will tear your material. And then you'll be like me needing to order another set of stickers because you messed up the first one. And that is what happened here. I messed up the first one. So we had to order, order new stickers. Okay, so this can come off now. This is, this is obsolete. We don't need this anymore. We're right where we need to be. Okay, at this point, the sticker still will move around a lot even though we squeegee down a lot of the water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this thing set a little bit before we attempt to pull off the top cover. And uh, probably still have to hit it with a heat gun to get uh, most of the water out of it. Some people will go, well, you've ruined your sticker. You put water on it. Um, this, is a this is the third Jeep that I've actually put stickers on that I've used water. And uh, 
None of them. I've never had a problem with them coming off. But it, I use soapy water. Now, if you were to wash this vehicle right after you did this, they, they would come off. But, you know, I usually let it set overnight and it's fine. So we're going to let that set a little bit. I'm going to go over and do the other side. And then we will come back to this one and peel it off. Okay, we are back on the passenger side where we first started. The other side I've already got stuck down. Uh, now we're gonna work on this to try to get the uh, protective coating off and just have leave the sticker behind. We're gonna, cause it is a little cool out here, we're gonna use a heat gun and I put it on its lowest setting, highest speed, lowest setting. It's barely warm. I mean, you could almost touch it with your hand. I mean, I am. That's how uh, your hair dryer gets hotter than that. Maybe a hair up. Yeah, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna heat the letters up to try to dry the, uh, um, dry the water up. So, being a little bit cooler is taking a little bit longer to heat up. Okay, so now we've heated up that sticker a little bit, just dried some of the water up. So now we're gonna start our pulling. Um, try to keep it as parallel to the sticker as possible when you're pulling it. That's gonna help it come off of the protective coating easier. These bigger letters are so much easier to do than, than the tiny letters. But if they, if they peel, if they start to peel up, just push it back down, go right, go backwards and push it back down. Baby. And there is Calypso. Now at this point, you do not want to push it hard. There is going to be some air pockets. And I said don't use this, but I'm going to have to on some of the little air pockets. You take it, because it's still wet and it's still very easy to move around. You can just take your finger and push around on it. and the air pockets will work their way out. But it's, it's better to catch it, the light at an angle, and I got a good sun coming in straight this way. And I can see if there's any air pockets. The only one is the O right here. And it looks like that I just pushed it out. Again, this stuff is not perfect. It does do a really great job. Uh, this will set till tomorrow. There's one. Uh, we won't mess with it till tomorrow. And some of the spots now, you'll you'll look and you'll say, "Oh my God, there's tons of spots underneath there." But sometimes after the water dries up and the sun hits a sticker really well, it will push it right down to the body. It evaporates and I guess creates a vacuum and sucks the sticker right down to it. 
but I've got to get busy on the other side. I'm gonna put this in the rag and just lightly push. I'm not, I'm just letting the, basically the weight of it do its job. So there we go. Okay, I did that sticker the same way. And you can see that sticker's a pretty good size sticker. And I did it the exact same way with water and uh, put it on there, got it where I needed it, squeegee the water out, used a hair dryer. Actually, I didn't have a heat gun at the time. I used a hair dryer and dried it up. And about, I don't know, 20 minutes later after I put it on there, I could peel it right off and it was fine. So. Well, that's it guys. That's a very simple process. You should be able to do this very easily on your Jeep if, or your, any car, if you just follow these steps. You can use soapy water. It will stick. It will stay on there. Again, I've done them all over my Jeep and now doing my wife's Jeep, doing them the exact same way and they're coming out really well. So as always guys, be safe in your shops. Be safe when you're driving out there on the road and when you're on the trail, stay on the trail. Leave room for bikes. Peace out.